What's going on everyone, it's your average consumer. And this is my top five favorite headphones, 3.0. Now notice I said my top five favorite headphones. I'm not calling these the best because sound is subjective and what may be the best to me may not be the best to you. So hey, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. And to kickstart this list at number five, we have the Sony MDR-1R headphones. Now these are a very classy looking pair of headphones. As you can see here, I have the brown and silver version, but there's also the black and red, which I think also looks really great. Now these are well constructed, Sony did a really good job with the design. Also the ear cushions are very soft, so these are also very, very comfortable. The only real downfall with the design is that it isn't completely foldable. You can get these flat, however, and throw them in a bag, so it's still portable, but not as portable as I would've liked. Now when it comes to sound quality, these don't match my bassy preference as the bass on these is definitely toned down a bit, but it does have some great sound quality and where it really excels is in the vocal department. So if you're listening to music with a lot of singing or anything with some vocal work, it'll definitely perform very well. Now what I like about these is that they provide a nice contrast and some variety to my collection. And as you guys know, I love bass and it's nice to step out of that every once in a while and really get down with the vocals. And the One R retails for about $200 on Amazon as of the recording of this video and I'll have links down below in the description if you want to check them out and I'll have links for all the headphones listed in this video but they retail for about $200 on Amazon and I've seen them as low as 160 so depending on the day you go for it you might find it a bit cheaper but it's definitely a great value great pair of headphones great looking great comfort great sound and as long as you're not looking for a ton of bass you'll definitely enjoy the performance on these and that's why we have the Sony MDR-1R at number five and for number four on this list, we have the Bayer Dynamic Custom One Pro. And these are probably the most versatile headphones on this list, and they definitely live up to the Custom in their name. The Custom One Pros have an interesting design. They're not the most compact pair of headphones. They're actually a bit on the larger side. But what's interesting about them is that you can actually switch out just about every component on the headphone and tailor it to be your own. So you can switch out the headband, the ear cushions, the plates on the ear cups, just about everything to make it look like something of your own creation. In my review of these, I showed you guys that you can switch this up to look like a completely different pair of headphones. And I think that's a really awesome feature that you can customize it down to this level. Bear Dynamic also offers a boom mic cable so that you can actually use this as a gaming headset or maybe use it for video calls. Whatever you wanna do, it offers a ton of versatility and that's one of my favorite things about the headphones. Now, one of the craziest things is that it has customizable sound quality. Now with the Custom One Pro, you can actually use these sliders found on the back that actually increase the bass depending on what level you push it to. So you can go from absolutely no bass to quite a bit of bass at the highest level and you can adjust it to where you wanna be. So whether or not you're a bass lover, you can adjust these to fit your preference. And what's really awesome is that you can actually use these for different genres. So if you wanna listen to rap and hip hop one day and you want a ton of bass, you can do that. And if you wanna tone down the bass to listen to some classical, boom, you've got that option as well. These retail for about 178 on Amazon right now, which is an awesome, awesome deal because this is, a, like I said, a very versatile pair of headphones. The only problem is that they're a bit on the larger side. I, I probably wouldn't go outside with these because of the size, but they are great and I have tons of uses for them indoors. And that's why we have them at number four. And for number three on this list, we have the Logitech UE9000s. Now the UE9000s are Bluetooth headphones, and you guys know I love wireless headphones because they're convenient, portable, and they offer controls that you don't have to actually touch your device in order to use. So you can actually play and pause, rewind tracks, fast forward, all that good stuff right from the headphones themselves. Now some people might think it's a little bit bulky, but I actually love the design. I think it has a premium look and feel to it, and the ear cups are just solid and comfortable. I can wear these for long periods of time and not even notice that I'm using them, especially without a cable. But what's awesome about these headphones is that even though it's Bluetooth, you can actually plug in the cable and use it without any power. So if you run out of battery or maybe you just don't want to use Bluetooth, you can plug it in and still listen to your music without an issue and the sound quality is still there. And speaking of sound quality, the UE9000 has definitely hit home for me as it offers a ton of bass when it's powered on and even when it's not powered on, the bass is withdrawn a bit, but it still sounds great. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. But if you're really not a fan of the bass, you can just 
turn it off, plug in the cable, and still get some awesome sound quality from them. So, like I said, best of both worlds, and I'm really, really happy with the UE 9000s. You can find them for about $190 on Amazon right now, which is actually pretty good coming from the $400 price point that it used to be. But now, the only thing with this is that it might be a little bit harder to find since Logitech has discontinued it. So if you're able to pick one up, I definitely suggest grabbing it. It's a great pair of headphones and definitely one of my favorites. And that's why we have the Logitech UE 9000s at number three. And for number two on this list, we have the Audio-Technica ATH M50X. Now, if you've heard of the M50s, this should come as no surprise to you. These are amazing headphones and they come at a great value. Now, this is the M50X, which is the upgraded version. Now, I like the M50s, but the M50X fixed about everything that I found wrong with the originals. So now it features a detachable cable. And that was one of my problems with the original. It had a built-in cable that was really long, very cumbersome. It wasn't really portable, but now with the M50X you have detachable cables and Audio-Technica provides three different kinds of cables. So you've got a coiled cable, a very long cable, and a very short cable that can be used with like mobile devices if you'd want to take it outdoors. So this is one of the best improvements that Audio-Technica could have made to the M50s because being portable is something that's really important to me and the M50s are now that. So it's pretty awesome that Audio-Technica went from selling different models of the M50 to selling one that can be used as any of the previous models. So definitely kudos to Audio Technica. And another area that they improved upon is actually the comfort. I never had any real comfort issues with the originals, but the M50X are just a lot more comfortable. And the ear cushions are made of a soft, leatherish kind of material that sits nicely on the ears instead of the harder, paperish feel of the originals. So this is definitely a very welcomed improvement. And I'm happy to say that the sound quality has not changed on these at all, and that's really a good thing. M50s had great clarity, sounded really good, definitely well-balanced sound. Now the only thing with them for me is that they didn't have that much bass, but if you want an overall well-balanced sound, these are definitely the way to go. And I actually use these a ton for editing and all tons of purposes outside of just using them for music. So they have a ton of applications and that's really great. And you guys can tell by now that I love versatility and the M50X's well-balanced sound definitely offers that. So you've got well-balanced sound, a very rugged build quality. These things can definitely hold up to some abuse. They're pretty portable. They can actually fold up pretty well and you can store these and take them wherever you want with you. And they've got a ton of options as far as cables go so these definitely earned the number two spot on my list and you can find them for about 167 dollars on amazon right now and that's about 30 to 40 dollars more than the originals but i definitely think it's worth the investment i'd pick these over the originals any day and that's why we have it at number two and now it's time for the number one pick on this list, the head honcho, and that goes to the V-Motor Crossfade M100s. Now these are one of the best headphones I've gotten to use so far. As a total package, they're everything that I'm looking for. These offer some amazing build quality, they're built like a tank, and V-Motor goes through a ton of testing to make sure that these things are very durable. So they're a great long-term investment. And one of my favorite things about these is that they offer options, options, options. <laughs> They've got three different colors you've got the shadow black, matte black, and white silver. And you can take it a step further with the colors by adding a different color faceplate. You can actually switch up to any color faceplate that you want, and you can even throw in your own logo, pictures, any kind of designs on the faceplate, and kind of make it your own design, your own creation. As you can see, I have UAC reviews plastered all over my headphones, and that to me is just amazing that I can customize these and kind of promote myself and it looks good at the same time. So definitely hats off to Vmotor for putting out such an excellent design and great customizable options. And you can actually use these in a ton of applications, just like some of the previous headphones that I've mentioned. Vmotor offers a boom mic cable so that you can plug these in and use them as a gaming headset. And they even offer a cable so that you can plug this into your gaming PC and not have any issues. So that is amazing. They also offer a thick, long coiled cable. So if you're a DJ and you wanna use something a little bit more Thirty, you've got that as well. So there are tons and tons of options with the Vmoto M100 and they sound great. The Vmoto M100s have some amazing sound quality. You definitely have clarity, great vocals, and that tight bass that you're looking for. 
So for me, this is the perfect pair of headphones. I really have no complaints as far as sound goes and the build quality. My only complaint used to be the fact that the ear cushions were really tight on the ears, so it's a bit of an uncomfortable fit, but you can actually also customize the ear cushions as well. So with the XL ear pads, you get a bigger cushion and it's a lot softer. Now with these, they automatically became my number one headphones. They moved out the Sony Pulse Wireless headset, and I'll get to that in a second, but these have become my number one headphones because comfort was the only issue that I had with them in the past, and Vmoda presented a way to fix that, so I have no complaints. These are just an amazing pair of headphones, and I honestly use these just about every day. They're my go-to pair of headphones, and they really offer everything that I'm looking for. Tons of versatility, tons of customizable options. They look amazing. Hey, I can't complain. They retail for about $300, so they're a bit on the expensive side, but they do offer a nice ecosystem that you can get into with upgradable parts like the ear cushions, the boom mics, all that kinds of stuff. So it's definitely worth the investment and they last a long time. These are very durable headphones and I'm just a huge fan of them. And that's why they're my number one pick. And that pretty much wraps up my list, guys. Now, I know you're probably wondering where the heck is his last number one, the Sony Pulse wireless headset? Well, I still love those as far as sound quality goes. I love the bass impact feature, and I love the ability to use them wirelessly, but I did find that over time, they did start to crack on me, and a lot of people did complain about that, but it seemed to take me a bit longer to see the cracks in mine, but eventually they did come and they did become apparent, and that's just a, a really hard sell for me. I can't really, push that as my number one when it gets broken and I have to buy another pair. So I had to bump them off the list and I decided I might as well keep this as a full headphone list instead of including a headset. So the Pulse Wireless headset gets a honorary mention as one of the best sound qualities for bass that I've ever experienced and I still love that as a gaming headset. And that pretty much completes my list. But before you guys run off, let me tell you guys about a sweet giveaway that's going on over at wegive.com. Those guys are giving away a pair of Beats Solo 2 wireless headphones. I haven't even gotten my hands on those yet and those guys are already giving away a pair. So if you guys are interested in headphones and you want a free pair, definitely jump on over. They also offer some other really cool prizes. They've given away PlayStation TVs, uh, tons of gift cards, other Beats headphones. So you guys run over there and check them out and definitely let them know that I sent you. Be sure to let them know on like Facebook and Twitter and let them know that your average consumer sent you to enter in to win a pair of free Beats Solo 2 headphones and all the other cool prizes that they're offering. And pretty much that wraps up this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know my list might be different from yours, but let me know what you think I should have included down below in the description. I'm sure you guys have a ton of opinions, as usual. <laughs> but let me know down below, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy that gives it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel for more content from me. Till the next video, guys. It's your average consumer. Peace.